Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve two important use cases that were recently asked in interviews, many interviews. One is coloring your measure separately and second is coloring only one measure independent of others example like you can see on the screen i wanted to create uh, something like this where i have two measures one is for profit and sales only profit measure i wanted to color and where i don't want to you know do anything with the sales okay and second is coloring these two independently those two things so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a new worksheet and a new view here and i'm trying to take my category and subcategory and i'm taking sales dropping it on label and i'm also taking my profit and just dropping it here on the label so that it creates a view something like this okay now i want to color these two separately okay so generally what do we do for that suppose i want to highlight i am just taking i am creating a, a dummy field called as a profit or loss to calculate if my profit is greater than uh, a zero or not okay so if i try to take this and drop it on color shelf what is happening here it is impacting my sales measure also right so most of the times you will see that you know you might get a requirement like they don't want this sales to be impacted they want only profit to be impacted how can we solve that so i'm removing this from the color shelf because that is not what we need so first approach is you can take this measure value okay hold your control button and you can drop it on label sorry on color shelf so it will try to color it according to the measure values here from the lowest to the maximum here, but we don't want, we, we want Tableau to consider these two separately and color them differently, okay? So you can click on this measure, measure values, and you can use the option called as use separate legends, okay? So remember this option guys, it is asked many times in the interviews, how can you color two measures separately? So you can tell that, you know, using this option called as use separate legends option, you can use that, click on that. So you get this separately. Okay, now you can color them independently. One is for profit and another one is for sales. Okay, so like say I'm going to select a green color or maybe a red color, red color. So I can choose any color randomly, like say I want this. Apply, okay. Now you see this is working differently and this is working differently. So this is one approach. Second is, again, I'm trying to create a similar view using my category and subcategory. And I'm taking profit and dropping it uh, on the label here. I'm just trying to create dummy field so that I can use the concept of dual axis here and make them independent. So I'm using min of one. So I want to duplicate this. Okay, and uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just merging this. Okay, and uh, maybe make them bar chart, both. And I'm removing label from one of them. So we got one. Maybe I'll try to adjust alignment as well. Uh, go here, alignment, make it center, fine. Now I want to create a, a similar thing, but for sales i want to create okay so same concept i'm trying to use min of one okay duplicate that so if you see it has created four uh you know uh, mark shelf for each of the measure that we have one is for min one second third fourth okay now i'm going to the second one sorry third one and i'm trying to uh, take sales and drop it in the label here now here we have profit. Now here we have sales, okay? So I'm just trying to remove label for this, okay? And I'm trying to merge these two now. So two things we have, one is for profit, another one is for sales. Let us try to adjust the alignment here also. We got it, okay? Now I want to color only profit, right? So that is what our requirement. So I'm going to take uh, a profit thing profit or loss calculation that we have written and drop it on color shelf only, okay? I'll take and drop it here, okay? So 
from the all marks tab, I'm going to remove this. And uh, maybe I have to drop it again here. Now observe here, it is coloring only one. So we can go to dashboard. Sorry, I'll go here, take this sheet to and just remove whatever we don't need. So we can format now, you know, we can adjust our axis. So I'm just creating on edit axis. I want them to be only till one. Okay, and here also till one. Okay, so maybe we need to synchronize both of them here and we can hide the headers. So this is how we can solve this problem. Okay, so I hope you have learned something new in this video. If it does, don't forget to share your valuable feedback. See you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day and bye-bye.